Hello. It's Lynn and Rhonda, the Lynn and Rhonda Show. We're going to go ahead and start with the Kojic TCA uh, Mid-Depth Peel. It's good for uh, aging skin, acne, uh, most grades of acne, and oily skin. Um, it also helps to lighten skin, so it serves a lot of different skin conditions. This one um, is also known as the Kojic Acne Treatment in your Art of Skin Peels book. But for medical purposes, we called it the Kojic TCA peel. So we're going to start with a wet cleanse. Just going to go over the skin very lightly to remove surface. Oops, I start. Start the eyes. I know. Okay, forgive me. <laughs> we're going to start at the eyes. <laughs> she really does usually do that. All the time. I do, but I removed her eye makeup first, so I kind That's of right. bypassed it. Yeah. Really, a step in just to kind of moisten the skin a little bit and get a bit of water on it since we're doing a dry cleanse. Mm -hmm. and Rhonda already went over this, but of course, we use the gauze so you can see what's being removed. Okay, we're going to use the Maui cleanser anywhere. And dampening the face will also help to, you know, move this around a little bit better so there's no drag on the skin. Work that in really good. And their protocol also says glycolic herbal wash, right? Yes. So we're, we're recommending that you can add the Maui cleanser at any of these peels for a little more oomph or intensity. Uh, but the glycolic herbal wash would also be very effective. Mm -hmm. This one smells so good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Just don't want to get this in the eyes. This is a real uh, strong one for the, for the eye tissue, so you don't want to get it in the eyes. You wouldn't want any of the cleansers to get in the eyes, but this in particular would have a little zing to it. This one doesn't foam as much, but it does a really, really good job of just giving a nice, slick, clean surface. I love this one. Can you feel it, Amanda? No. Amanda's got very uh, tough skin, thick skin. She has beautiful skin. She has dealt with some acne over the years, and she's got just a really strong skin, and she's ready for a really deep peel today. Okay. Good cleanse. Work that in there for two to three minutes, and she's going to do the warm water rinse. Cleanse, cleanse. Okay, start at the eyes. Make sure you get all the way to the hairline. Clean off everything really thoroughly. <coughs> Pesky hairs are coming up. <laughs> Good technique, lens using some knife pressure and going over the skin several times uh, to thoroughly get all of the cleanser off. And, um, Do one more real quick. Folds to the end. <laughs> Feel good? Mm hmm. It was real good. Really 
she'll be ready by Vegas. <laughs> But it's a good idea to always stop and did you want to look a little closer? Sure. Your eyes are probably a thousand times better than mine. But I like to look through the mag light and look closely at the skin and really assess between layers and at the beginning to see how you're doing. And um, just a little here. Yeah, I'm not sure if you need the same lens as I do. Oh gosh, in the last year I do. Okay, and her skin's really looking clean. Really yeah, it looks good. good mm -hmm. it? I mean, wow. Okay, so we always want to touch the skin and make sure there's no residue of cleanser. It's not sticky or tacky. Um, it should be a nice soft finish, nice and clean. It's beautiful. So we're going to go into our... This is an optional step mm -hmm. if they feel they need it. I've got one or two there. Good, too. Let me see if I can peel it off. Okay. I'm going to use the all-purpose cleansing pads with antibacterial support and salicylic. A nice firm pressure and... And do a second cleanse or a deep fatting. to it. So it's a nice deep fatting step. Have to get those oily areas good. Yeah, it's just a little bit there. Okay. okay. Now, do you like to wear gloves when you take this? No. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this the... Is a top. This is a stock. This is the Fruit Acid Botanical. It's a toner for um, acne, oily, higher grade <laughs> acne skins. Um, and it's a great prep for peels. It's a 7% glycolic, 3% sal. Let's see, I can never open these. That's the only problem. I can't open our products. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I did about two to three pumps. And we're going to use this again to defat and get the subsurface oils off the skin and get better activity out of our acids. would be to just not get your gauze too moist or too wet. You don't want to have any of this solution dripping. It is a strong toner solution. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so you want to watch that. We lovingly call it fire in a bottle and it is that. <laughs> this will really pinken up the skin. If you can that. see that. And when the gauze were from the cleansing, they were clean now. Mm -hmm. So that's what's deeper in those pores that you want to get out. If you have a really oily skin, this pad will be yellow. Which one? Oh, this one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you can put it right there. That's right. Okay. Okay, so you can see. Ah. Can you see that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Good. We want you to see it. Okay. And Amanda does have her fan in her hand if she needs it um, <laughs> at any time. She'll probably start wanting to use it soon, but she's still good right now. Okay, so we're going to put on the iPads. A real must. Anytime you're teaching this, make sure you always stress the iPads. Whether they do it or not, you've told them to do it, and so that's good for you. <laughs> Do it or not, huh? <laughs> um, okay. Ready? Okay. She's all set and ready to go. So our first step then is to get into the acids, and we're using the salicylic solution. Um, whenever you open your acids, open them up away from your client patient. I always like to turn in case they build pressure. Uh, you know, you don't want anything coming out around your client. And so we're going to pour some of this solution into a little beaker. And um, then you're probably going to do one layer, but mm -hmm. we could possibly two, depending okay. on what we get from her. 
we see a little solution frosting coming up. And you could do with gauze, as Lynn's going to do, you could do with the brush if you wanted to get more. With this type of peel, you don't need to go for more. You're going to get a really good peel, just mm -hmm. one or two layers with the two by two gauze and firm pressure. Okay, so it's wet, but it's not dripping wet. <laughs> right. Is firm pressure, bring it all the way to the hairline. Anytime you want that down on Amanda. Of course, the longer you can leave it off for a, a little bit, it helps your acid to absorb. And you want to pay attention to your solution, that it's wet on the skin. Uh, if you start to see it be a little dry in the gauze, you want to re-wet your gauze so you that you get an even application. You okay, mm -hmm. I might go this way. Start around to turn the head a little bit more. That sure looks good. You want to just go over the lip, stretch your lip for me. Make sure you make your gauze small so that you don't get any solution of acid near the nose opening, of course. doing one way on Amanda's neck. Amanda doesn't need too much attention to the neck. We may not do uh, anymore. That's good. Um, <laughs> Look at the red. Woo. Yeah, so she may really, we might even just do, you know, this is thin a bit of project on the neck. It's not, that's not our focus for her. Mm -hmm. Now, do we want to do one more crisscross and show them that of the uh, cell solution? Sure. Okay. Can you handle it, Amanda? Okay. Well, let's, look, let's see if her skin can handle it. Let's take a closer look at the skin and see kind of what's going on. We don't care. <laughs> um, and she's taking it in. Um, erythema is coming up. Um, no frosting. How, what, how's it feel in terms of intensity? <clears throat> it's pretty hot. Like a 1 to 10 where you think you are. Well, you can put the fan on at this stage if you would like. Your chin's real red. Is your chin burning? Yeah, I don't really feel it in my chin. Oh, you're really red there. Have you used any correctives at all? Not in a lot. At least a week. Okay. Maybe I'll skip the chin. Well, especially when you're going to do the project on there. I turn Ooh. really red around my mouth for some reason. Mm hmm. Did you do you wax? Actives in this? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, it's, so um, let's talk about what's in this. Okay. Process. The cell solution is a 15% TCA, it's got 15% lactic, and it's got 15% uh, salicylic, and 10% and 10 azelaic. Right. So it's a nice blend. Um, Very good, and that's not easy to remember now. I was going to say resorcinol, but it's our non-resorcinol mm -hmm. peel, so it's a great option for people that can't have resorcinol. Um, but it's a hot one. Now, is, the, um, is it getting hotter or less? Uh, it's about the same. Okay. Not and yes, you are really red. I think mm -hmm. we started to ask if you wax that area. Um, not in at least six months. Okay. So there's really no reason other than for some, it's showing up a little more pink. But I also see it's beginning to abate a little. Uh, looks like it's kind of going down some. Do you peel like excessive when you get peels in that area? Mm, no. Okay. I'm just. It's just really reactive right there. She's always been reacting. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I light up like a Christmas tree and then it comes down. It does, it does. So you don't always want to get alarmed about uh, areas that get pinker than the rest or more erythema, but you want to note it and pay attention to it mm -hmm. and just kind of check in and see what's going on with the skin. Okay. So I'm going to do a second so, layer and avoid that immediate yeah, area? Yeah, I would do the crisscross to kind of show them what we mean by that because a lot of our protocols are using more Ah, uh, dab. Not much more. It's just a little bit. That's good. Squeezing it out. Okay. Okay. So when we uh, do multiple layers of an acid, we do recommend that you do a crisscross pattern, and that just ensures that you get an even application. And you've covered the entire face and neck. So I did a, a vertical application on the first pass. This time I'm going to do a horizontal, and then go in the opposite direction for the remainder of the face. 
start in the center, and move out from the median line. <clears throat> Go over the nose, work my way down. I'm going to avoid your upper lip, okay? You're an even red now. <laughs> I'm gonna nice. <laughs> yes, that looks good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna skip the neck. Yes. Yeah, okay. Neck. How do you feel? Good. I think it's starting to tap out. It's getting less. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now this is a leave-on solution, so we don't have to remove it. So as soon as it's absorbed and we look at her skin, you know, we can decide if we're gonna going, which we probably are. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you have no choice, even. Um, and this goes on very thin. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, like almost see-through. So, yeah, see-through. Now, this is the hot one. Mm -hmm. And uh, remembering this is self-neutralizing, like you pointed mm -hmm. out. And so it's probably at that stage. She turned her fan off. I mean, it's a good thing, you know, mm -hmm. kind of beginning to taper down. So this is the prep. Mm -hmm. This is the first two layers of acid to prep the skin before we start the what we consider the core peel. Okay. Which is the coated clay. You feel pretty good. All right, you ready? Did and you look this, at her skin? Yes, and this starts to get hot after it's on for a couple of minutes. It'll grab. Okay, so this is the TCA clay. You don't need to put a lot of it on. Um, it still does a good job. <laughs> Getting hot. I'll do the perimeter first and work my way in because I know it gets more sensitive in there. How's your chin feeling? Oh, I don't even feel it on my okay. chin. Okay. I'm afraid to go over it if you're real hot there. As Rhonda said earlier, these brushes are really nice because you get a lot of control and you can move around the face really nicely without it, you know, getting into places you don't want it to go. Okay. Almost done. Doing this on your neck. Hmm? What? Are we doing this on your neck? Oh. No? Okay. How's it feel? Hot? It's hot, yeah. Oh, one to ten, what is it? Seven or eight. Okay. Red and brown. What a pretty color. <laughs> What's that? Ten minutes. What time you got? Okay. So this will sit for about ten minutes in process. Um, it is possible to get a frost with this. It might be partial. Um, the skin is definitely going to be red underneath the mask, so uh, you'll have to remove it to get a full visual when you're done. But the skin gets very tender with this. 
And um, when you remove it, you have to be real uh, careful, real gentle, but you have to be real thorough too. You don't want to leave this on the skin. just as many little hairs as I do. <laughs> How much time do we have, Lynn? Three minutes. Okay, three minutes. How many? Three. We might cut it short, though, because we didn't time it from the very beginning. There's one minute left. I'm going to remove it, Lou.
your iPads. going to remove the mask. Um, it dries like a clay, so you want to make sure that you've got nice wet gauze, not runny, but nice and damp. And you start at the eyes and you use um, you know, medium pressure to remove the mask. Ooh. You got frosting. Oh, I can feel it. It's sensitizing when you remove this mask, so uh, it will be tender for the client. Yeah, you get little spot frosting. The frosting, little bits of frosting. Oh, she She's got a little pieces of frosting scattered, tender around the eyes. How long was it on? Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you feel, Amanda? It's hot. Mm -hmm. It's hot. And you know, it can hurt coming off. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. It can feel like little shards of glass. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is such a good peel mm -hmm. um, for so many types of skin, and definitely for acne, and coarse skin, and uh, problematic skin, and even a rosacea skin can believe it or not, wow. <laughs> you know, handle this, you wouldn't think so, but it's because of those clay, the clay mm -hmm. base, and having that support of the uh, TCA blend together with the Kojic, it just, you know, works well for a lot of skin types. I wouldn't put it on super sensitive, and when I say rosacea, I want to clarify, I'm talking about the really uh, coarser acne rosacea type mm -hmm. skins. Uh, well, they have a lot of that there, apparently. Yeah. But you wouldn't do the prep. Right. And also, I forgot to mention, on your Fitzpatrick's 4 and higher, which you apparently don't have, but uh, you wouldn't want to go with the uh, TCA prep, the cell solution prep, either. So when you get to Italy, you got to keep that in mind. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, when you, get, when you get to Italy, you have to keep that in mind. Oh, absolutely. And this one, you have to make sure you get it all off. And so in some ways, this is an easier peel to do because it's a one step, mm -hmm. it's a one layer. And you're not having to watch so much the skin because it does what it does. It has its end point. You put it on, you wait, you rinse it off. The other side to that is that you do have to rinse and spend a little time uh, removing it. But it's okay if a little bit's left and kind of in the pores and you're not gonna get every bit of that um, clay out. But it'll peel very nicely. And yeah. um, after you get it all off, you can put a little bit of uh, sedent. Or did you find sedent? I bought, yeah, I got some. Well, I found it. You know where I found it. Because <laughs> they didn't have any in the back. It looks like it's all off. You get just speckled frosting in your forehead, around your eyes, a little bit on your jawline, a little bit on your mouth too. Let me take a Does it feel better? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's done. Chin's still doing some funny stuff there. You did what 
the project card there. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to do that. Do you well, want me to put the rosemary basil mask on? Or I just put a little sea gems and then do rosemary. And then do rosemary basil. over it. Okay. Now, that's an optional step. The sea gems you can put on. Mm -hmm. And you might want to talk about what that does, but the other is optional. We're going to apply some sea gems, which is one of our nutrient serums. Um, it's designed for an anti aging serum, but it has a lovely thermal reducing property to it. So it's great to take the heat out of skin's post peel. So if you're doing a hot uh, peel like this one or something else with azelaic, uh, maybe the flower acid, or if you're doing in the medical facilities, IPL or laser, this is a nice treatment or serum to put on the skin right afterwards. It kind of brings down the heat. Uh, also good for everyday home care for cellular support, uh, anti-aging formula. It smells really good. It goes right in. How does that feel, Amanda? Good. Much better. It took the heat right down. That's where it's nice in the, the peel process mm -hmm. of the treatment. Now, I wouldn't want you to have your client use this now too soon, um, like right through this first few days, they wouldn't continue mm -hmm. to use mm -hmm. this because of the stem the cell. The stem cell, it's yeah. It's a little too active, but for this immediate support to get that heat down and we use it for burns mm -hmm. right? in fact you should send them the burn picture that we have of the blister and right. showing that okay. just so they can see see that's a good visual um, you know mm -hmm. she looks good so you could stop here yep and this could be the end and um, then they would go home and start peeling in about two days mm -hmm. two to three days uh, but you can also finish with our therapeutic or detoxifying rosemary basil mask, okay. which is very cool. What do you think? you think she should have it or not? I think so. Help bring down some of the redness a little more. Soothe the skin. It's very good for um, calming the skin, soothing it. Feels good. It smells wonderful like everything else. <laughs> um, I like it. And it's so all-purpose. Almost any skin can use this, especially rosacea skin. So. And when you do this, this way, I mean, this is a therapeutic, um, moderate, mid-depth peel. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't always have to have those deep, aggressive peels to get healing. And this is, is also a healing peel as well as a detoxifying peel. So it's a real nice plus, and I do love the smell of this. This is my favorite mask. You can do this after a lot of other treatments too, after microderm or um, mild photofacials, anything like that to calm it down. And it's a it's a medicinal type cosmeceutical. I mean, it has the, a real good balance of the basil and rosemary, but uh, really um, potent and, and pure actives in this that give the skin a really good. Support system for healing and soothing. And if you have people that are doing facials with this, you can also take that Italian herbal peel that you bought and mix some of that in with it for some more uh, support for acne skin too, reducing inflammation and healing. Mm -hmm. and just to customize a little different mask mm -hmm. look too, that's always nice. The eyes? We're not. Okay. Okay. You can do some cooling eye pads. You know what would be nice here the is the cucumber work on with the ice pumps. That's what I was thinking. If you go ahead and start the gauze, I'll go get you that. Okay. Some iPads on you. I'll just 
with the little squares, okay? choose to do um, use some ice gloves on Amanda just to kind of cool the skin down a little bit so you want to take a four by four open it up make sure it's damp and just stretch it across the first half of the face and then you open up your second gauze give it a good stretch I don't like to put it over the mouth because I'm claustrophobic, so I assume everybody else is. <laughs> Unless I put it on her eyes and her yeah. All over, actually. Yep. Okay, we start on the eyes. Just let them sit. It feels so good. It's so cooling, relaxing. facial massage. This is your territory. <laughs> Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to make sure, A, you don't hit them too hard because they will break. And you want to keep them cool, but you don't want to keep them in the freezer. You just want to keep them um, in the refrigerator, and you can put them in a bucket of ice water if you want while you're in your treatment room. Just make sure you dry them off before you put them on the skin so they're not dripping. But they feel really good. You know, hit the pressure points. <clears throat> just give them a nice little roll. help to bring down the heat and reduce inflammation. Once we remove this, like Rhonda said, you can just kind of let the, sin, uh, the skin sit. You don't really need to do anything with it. Um, and over the next 48 hours, the skin will start to peel. Pretty much let it sit for about 24 hours, and then you can start with your citrus or your Milk Plus cleanser. You don't want any actives on the skin, you know, acids, and you don't apply your growth factor until the skin starts to peel. Just going to fold these right back up and use them to remove the mask.
How does your skin feel when I go over it now? some of this up so I don't have to wake it as much. Good. Nice, nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to put some sunscreen on you, okay? Oops. You want e-sync or daytime? I'm going to do daytime. Uh, okay. So I'm going to finish with our broad spectrum daytime defense, SPF 30. To me, this is a must when you peel the skin. Provides enough coverage to protect that skin. It's very hydrating and soothing. Thank you. Sit you up. Oh. Get up. 